What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you 3 settings to lower your input delay dramatically, pretty much giving you zero input delay aside from your ping. This will improve your game response time as well as lowering your mouse latency. So if you would like to see all of these 3 tips, then watch throughout the entire video because I'm going to be showing you how to use them, certain settings, customizations, resolutions, and a lot more. Continue. If these tips end up helping you, please consider using code X24. This is the best way to directly support me within game. As you can see right now, I'm on 50 ping and it just went down to 26, which is exceptionally low for me. So you can see right here, uh, without the settings on throughout all of this, I can edit this fast. So not very fast. And now I'm going to show you the secret setting. So it's not necessarily going to lower my mouse input delay, as you can see in the top right corner if you, play, if you pay close attention, but it's going to lower my latency. So step one is to turn textures on high. This is a fairly well-known tip, but that's not it. You don't have to click off yet. Rendering mode, I use DX11 and I've been staying on that, so I don't know if that matters or not. Performance mode, I think, could decrease latency by a little bit, but for the sake of a video quality, I'm just gonna stay on 11. And then NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, and make sure that this is on as long as you have the latest NVIDIA drivers. And this is going to lower your input delay by a whole bunch. And now for the setting that I use that I don't think I've seen anyone else use, allow multi-thread rendering, turn this off. Now your builds are going to look slightly different, and that is because the rendering mode has changed just slightly, it doesn't look bad or anything, and you can edit a lot faster, and it, you can just feel that there's less input delay, and it feels really, really good. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and then show you guys my edits on the setting. So as you guys can see, that's a dramatic improvement from what I had before, and this setting decreases latency by a ton. And I'm going to be giving you some other tips throughout the settings. Now that you know the secret one that I use, I'm going to be giving you some other tips, which is going to decrease your input delay, latency, improve speed, and everything like that. So step one is change your window mode to full screen. Full screen will improve a slight performance. It'll give you a little bit less input delay, and that is because the game is running as primary instead of secondary, which is windowed full screen or just windowed itself. The game is set to like a primary state to where like that's your that's your main display. So it's going to focus your all your computer's um, attention to that one specific window. So make sure that's on full screen. I found the resolution doesn't matter that much. I just changed mine to much lower, and like it doesn't it doesn't feel that different. The only thing I could think resolution would improve potentially is your frames. Yeah, I, I don't see a huge improvement in my frames while doing that either. So I don't I don't think that it is worth it to sacrifice this much quality for maybe a five frame increase. So I'm just gonna keep mine on 1920 by 1080. Our next tip is going to be in our actual settings and essentially X is going to put what your graphics card what your graphics card can handle well. So you can see right here, it auto set me as a 60 frame cap because I'm on a 60 hertz monitor. And then my quality presets are going to be all epic. My motion blur is going to be on and that is really bad. Make sure your motion blur is off. I found that shadows on can cause a dramatic decrease in performance. So make sure that's turned off as well. You can go ahead and then just uncap your frames. If you're on a monitor that you can run the frames easily, for me at 60 hertz, it doesn't matter if I have 240 or 60, it's going to look the same for me. And I, the only reason I have mine on unlimited is just because it looks better for slow-mo in, in video editing. And then our next thing is going to be views distance. Uh, you can have this on high to near, whatever works for you. If you're on performance mode, I would recommend turning this to either high or epic, but it's obviously up to you there what your PC can handle well. So for this one, you're probably going to want this off. Essentially what this does is you can see if I zoom in how my character looks slightly weird and they're like these rigid lines. Well, if I turn this setting up, that essentially makes everything just look smoother and all the builds, everything look cleaner and it's a really good graphics touch to the game, but it will dramatically decrease performance. So definitely turn that off if you want to have good performance and responsive signals. 
textures like i said keep that on high um effects is a huge one you want to make sure that that is on epic no i'm joking don't do that <laughs> don't do that make sure it's on low because effects are one of the most input lag encouraging settings you could possibly have in this game so definitely keep this on low and just yeah everything like that post processing low to medium if you have medium that's okay i guess but low is low is essentially ideal nvidia reflex load latency like i said put this on boost and a lot of you guys uh, want to know what latency flash is. Essentially, whenever you click your mouse button, a little square is going to appear showing your latency. And that's pretty much all it is. So for testing out certain settings, you can keep this on, but in general, keep this off at all times. And finally, DLSS. Um, pretty much a lot of people thought that performance mode DLSS is really good. The, the, the short answer to this is that it's not at all. So DLSS stands for NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling. It renders well and smoothens out your character, just like this setting right here that you want to keep low. This essentially smooths out your character with using fewer pixels to improve your game quality and look, but at the same time, essentially try to give you better frames. I have not gotten any better frames with DLSS on, performance or quality, nothing. So you want to make sure this is kept off. 3D resolution, I don't, I don't think I have to explain this. Um, I can feel an extremely slight, if any, change in input delay. And aside from that, I'm just going to go ahead and state the obvious. It looks like I microwaved a potato and then stuck a keyboard and mouse onto it. So don't play on that at all, please. So DX11, DX12, and performance. Obviously, performance could have a certain increase. For me, on DX11, while, looking, while jumping off of the bus, I did a test with each of them. Jumping off of the bus, looking down with DX11, I get around 80 to, 100, uh, 80 to 110 FPS. Rendering mode on DX12, I got the pretty much the exact same thing, except I crashed a couple times using DX12, so I just switched off that. And performance, I really didn't see any sort of increase at all, except the builds looked horrible. Thank you guys for watching today's video. It was a little bit shorter today, but I tried to get straight to the point, showing you guys all the different settings, comparing and contrasting them. And if they ended up helping you or reducing your latency at all, please consider dropping a like on the video. Around a week ago, I gained 90 subs overnight. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm just so grateful for everything that has happened recently. So let's try to continue that with the goal of 20 likes on this video. And at 20 likes, I'm going to be making my secret settings video, which essentially is my settings reveal, plus tips that I don't think anyone else uses. And until then, I will see you guys later.